Hola, and thank you for choosing to watch another instalment from here at my YouTube channel, Benidorm and Beyond. I produce positive, fun and informative vlogs on a weekly basis about this resort where I have lived for over 20 years, so please subscribe to the channel and join me on my daily adventures. Today I'm taking you on a walk along a section of Avenida de Estocolmo, or Stockholm Avenue, which is situated in the Rincón de Loix area. At over two miles long, it starts from Cayo Manila by the beachfront and runs right the way along to Caranapales. But today we start at the junction with Avenida de Roma, or Rome Avenue, where we see the tall orange and red apartment block of the Europa Gardens on the corner, and then the British-run jukebox bar with its white tables and parasols just down the hill. We, however, continue on today's walk along Avenida Estocolmo, where we first of all see the rear of the three-star hotel Gala Plafidia which is especially popular with those looking for an all-inclusive holiday package. Built back in 1974 and with 136 rooms over its eight floors, it was recently completely renovated and it reopened with its fresh new look in February last year. The rooms at the Gala Plafidia are decorated in modern turquoises and whites and free Wi-Fi is offered throughout the property. All accommodation has a terrace or balcony and some have views looking down at the pool and solarium area to the front of the hotel. There is a cafe bar, an on-site restaurant and a second sunbathing area just down the hill within its grounds so plenty of room to soak up those Spanish sun rays. The hotel is currently ranked 62nd out of 196 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor and is rated 4 out of 5 putting it in the very good category. Crossing over now for a closer look, we pass the sloped ramp down to the back of the hotel, which is the preferred entrance by tradesmen. And in fact, you may have heard the metallic clang of some barrels being delivered in the background if you have keen hearing. Passing yet another slope, this time down to the private parking area and grounds of residential apartment block Edificio Versailles, we then come to the Bermuda's Apartments. Primarily now a residential building, it used to be a holiday apartment block, but the odd tourist rental can still be found online on the usual booking sites. It's now been spruced up considerably, and walking past you can still see the old cafe bar underneath, which is now up for sale. This bar used to do a great trade with both holiday makers and locals alike, and I'm sure it would make a good venue again, if someone just decided to take it back on, fully renovate it and give it a new lease of life. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title, which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom. It's really that simple. Thank you so much. Next along, we come to a small parade of businesses set slightly back from the street and down a few steps. After passing an empty unit, the first of these is a state agency in Mobilaria Benedon Tourist and adjacent is the Risi Tattoo Parlour which has opened in the last couple of years after previously being a rather dated mini-mart. We then come to Calle Londres or London Street and looking down it to our right, we can see the many bars and businesses along this road, which include Spanish and Italian restaurants, British bars and bistros, and even a cabaret bar with live music nightly. We now cross over, where on the corner immediately in front of us, we see the large Spanish cafe and tapas bar of La Morada. Open from early in the morning until 2am and offering a cosy interior or an airy L-shaped terrace with different seating areas, this local bar is popular with the local police force, so don't be afraid if you enter and find a dozen or so cops in front of you enjoying a quick snack and coffee, complete with guns, handcuffs and all. A variety of food and drink is available and you can get anything from a quick beer to a jug of sangria, an English breakfast, a juicy steak or just a good old burger and chips or even a pan of paella if ordered in advance. Live sports are also shown, although these are mostly La Liga matches and free Wi-Fi is offered. And with a pint at just two euros, which often comes with a complimentary tapper, why wouldn't you give it a try? Continuing along, next door we see the small premises of Bar Unique. Offering typical Colombian cuisine, which is displayed for you on photos on the tables, this little haunt comes alive at night with the sounds of Latino music and is currently offering a menu of the day for 12 euros per person. Moving on, we pass the server computer technology and information shop and then, after the Rivera Mini Mart, which was closed on the day I filmed, we see the Scrappy Coco Dog Grooming Parlour, 
who also offer a dog sitting service for those needy pooches who require looking after whilst their owners have a day to themselves. They were shut on the day I passed too, but this was due to them participating in an international fair for professionals in the pet sector, so I hope they picked up loads of new business whilst they were there. Bordering this is a closed down restaurant whose premises are now up for sale, and this abuts the British bar The Queen Mary, who have been in this location since 2001. They have just reopened for the coming season, although their opening times can seem rather erratic, and here you can get a bottle of Estrella Lager all day, every day, for just one euro. If you want to find out about some of Benidorm's most popular hotels, then why not check out my great series of vlogs giving you an unbiased look inside and out. Just search YouTube, Fly on the Wall, followed by the name of the hotel you're looking for, and all the info will be at your fingertips, it's that simple. Carrying on down the street, we now walk by some private gated parking and then the residential apartment block of the Apartamentos Sierra Alada. Their grounds are filled with palm trees and bougainvillea, giving it a really authentic Mediterranean feel. And this takes us all the way to the corner where the road meets Calle de Amsterdam. We're looking downhill to our right, we can just see the four-star Hotel Nareo at the very bottom and then sweeping back on ourselves, the three-star Hotel Rialto on the opposite corner to us, both of which are owned by the popular Servi Group chain, as you can see by their matching blue balconies. This brings us to the end of today's vlog, and I hope you've enjoyed this info-packed stroll with me today. And if you have, please help me out by watching some of my other videos, which cover other street and beachfront walks, as well as lots of news and updates on things that are happening right here in the resort. I'll see you out and about next time and thanks so much for watching as always. Every view and comment counts and is much appreciated. Bye for now, hasta luego and see you soon. Cheers!